doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Good, good. Um, I want to know, um, because you played in a lot of like roles in the past and everything. I want to know if you if you had a character in your previous film or previous projects that could like help guide Sam and um, Georgia through like their journey. What the character? Previous character that I played. I yeah. mean, probably Hit Girl. Obviously, you know what I mean. I feel like if she in any situation would probably do very well. And in this situation, I think she would. I think fare incredibly well against the robots. <laughs> How was it like just working with Algie Smith as well? Oh my god, Algie is the best guy ever. I, I absolutely love him to death and I wish he was here right now. Um, he was an absolute star to work opposite and I think this is going to really, you know, propel him in a way that, that he deserves. What attracted, to, uh, what attracted you to this film? I mean, multiple things. Working with Mattson Tomlin was something that I was really excited about, and the fact that this is a story crafted, you know, based off of his life and, and, and his parents and, and their his story of adoption. Um, and so being able to jump into someone's psyche like that and work opposite someone that it so inherently knows something um, and is telling this so truthfully from their heart is an opportunity you don't often get. You had a big year, like you. <laughs> you know, uh, how does it feel? You have four movies to drop this year. How many? How, how does that feel? Five movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it feels amazing. Well, the most incredible thing about it was the year be began with Little Fish, which was written by Madison Tomlin, and, and and now we're finishing out with Mother Android, which is his directorial his directorial debut. So it's kind of a really exciting year, and it's nice to have it like bookended by these two projects that are like interconnected. That's good. How did you feel like when you first read about like Arthur in the movie? Cause I know he had the, the you know the how he was like how how was that like when you first like were reading about Arthur and you saw the little yeah I mean you know the the moment that the Mother Android script came across my desk I was sort of really curious because Matt's and I knew he was a great writer having worked on Little Fish and I was excited to read the script and Arthur just blew me away I mean he's just he's he's very different than anyone I played and I'm just like so stoked that. Madison took a uh, sort of chance on me and like really saw me in this character and sort of thought outside the box to put me in this character. Um, it's a really fun project to be a part of. I'm such a big fan of Chloe, such a big fan of Algie, and like to get to do this together is, is great. I'm excited. So if you, if there was like say if you had a fight against you know robots or zombies, which one would you have to like go against? That's a good question. You know, when I went against zombies, I had a whole team with me. And, and in the Android world, I'm kind of, you know, Arthur's kind of a, an individualist and he's kind of, you know, isolated and alone. So I like having my, my crew and my, you know, my, my family with me. So maybe the Army of the Dead zombie world. So let's say, uh, just forget your character, just say like Raul had a go against. I, I feel like as a kid, I prepared more for the zombie apocalypse than I did for the robot apocalypse, which says a lot about how... Uh, how you know delusional? <laughs> how did you prepare for uh, the zombie? I mean, I was a zombie fan from you know when I was eight years old. So when we moved into the house that my parents lived in when I was like, I don't know, ten, I was excited because there were burglar bars, and I was like, well, zombies can't get in those burglar bars. So I started prepping, you know, like if zombies came around, how do I, how you know, how do I outfit my house so that they can't get in? So I'd already prepared like water, food, the whole thing. You know, I'm Mexican, so my mom had like a lot of food in storage. Like, I was I was excited about that. Like, so I feel like I just yeah I, I hadn't I hadn't really prepped for the AI uh, um, takeover. Uh, so I feel like a little ill prepared. But maybe Mother Android kind of got me a little bit more ready for it. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on everything, man. Thank you so much. I, I enjoyed the film. I loved the twist you had in there. I, that got me. I was like, oh, okay, okay. But uh, how was it like, your, like the moment you realized, like, okay, this is going to Hulu? Like, how was that moment, you know, where you were at and everything? Uh, very surreal. Um, a lot of relief. You know, it's my first film, and, and at the end of the day, I'm, I'm just trying to make something that speaks to people, but I also want it to be seen. And particularly in the pandemic, you know, with, with at, especially when I was shooting in, in the fall of 2020, not knowing if movie theaters were going to come back or not. Having partners like Hulu, having my partners at Miramax, and going, wow, they're really letting me do this for real. This is going to be a real movie. Just the, the little kid inside of me, relief, joy, it's like getting to make a movie. Good, that's good. What are your thoughts on artificial intelligence? Because you know it's in the movie, and then now we have, I guess, now we have artificial like robots reproducing now. Like, what are your whole thoughts about that? It terrifies me. Every, you know, I a lot of how I feel is in the movie, and Raúl Castillo's character Arthur gives a speech about the origins of the word robot in the film, and I, I look at all of that and I go, 
it's it's in the word. This is this is scary, and we at some point are going to get ourselves in trouble. You know, the the play by Carl Chapek, uh, Rosamavi Rubati. That play ends with the destruction of the human race. It's where the word robot came from. We've known it's coming from the beginning, so it it keeps me up at night, to be honest. Uh, no, that is kind of scary thinking is about it. No, 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 you good, you good. <laughs> Uh, what I heard you um, started writing this and um, try to like work on it in 2017. I want to know like what we say to like filmmakers that are like have a project from like 2017, 2018, and they're still trying to get it funded and like on like a Hulu one day. Yeah, um, I got my professional start as a screenwriter, and so I would write projects and go, "This is the one I want to direct." And directing's hard; it involves a lot of people saying yes, and first films nobody wants to say yes to you because you're an unknown commodity. The best advice that I got was write the movie that nobody else could possibly direct. That when people read it, they go, well, we don't want to attach this A-plus filmmaker because this is so in your voice that we need it to be you. And that was Mother Android for me. And it, it really, my personal story was able to be both a sword and a shield and keeping it mine. So I would say to those filmmakers, make the movie that nobody else can make and make that your first one. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Where is the buzz you said was mine, oh my.